Well, Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, Y'all have lost uh, the week before by two out of the last three years, both for Notre Dame. But how much of an emphasis is there on with, with the team to finish the first half of the season strong going into the bye? Yeah, um, you know, I wasn't aware of, of that statistic. I, I don't think it's really at the, the front of our minds. Um, you know, heading into this week, uh, just kind of taking the same mindset that uh, you know each week is a season of its own. Got to go one and zero. You know, that's, that's really what we've been emphasizing this week so far. I understand that mindset, but there, the last time you played at home, it was a loss. Is there a sense of purpose or drive or even just want for the fans who, who showed up and were so loud and are there every week um, to get that win at home specifically? Yeah, 100%. You know, we take a lot of pride in that, um, you know, winning in Death Valley. So, um, you know, as you mentioned, just uh, bringing the energy and, and getting the fans up, um, you know, giving them the, the win that they deserve. Uh, you know, they, they showed out really well, um, especially against Florida State. Uh, really brought all the energy, were really loud, um, and, and helped us out a ton. So, um, you know, we're, we're very prideful in winning in Death Valley and, you know, giving the fans what they deserve, especially, uh, you know, with just how much they, they put into us this season as well. Yeah, um, you know, it's been good. Just been uh, been very busy with school and, and uh, you know, obviously football and uh, just managing all my, you know, relationships. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been great, though. Um, and, you know, in terms of, you know, going out there and, and competing, kind of having to shift our mindset from, you know, the original goal that, that we had set out to, uh, to achieve, um, I think it's been really good how the team's responded, how I've responded personally. Um, and, you know, that's one thing that, that's easy for me is just my competitive nature. You know, it'll never allow me to, um, you know, take something off whether I want to or not, whether, you know, it's tough to, to get up and, and maybe have the same motivation. You know, my competitive nature um, is, is driven by discipline. So uh, that, that always helps me out. Um, and I think the, the team, um, in, in terms of them, they've, they've also done a tremendous job uh, with just, you know, how we've, we've responded. Kind of the, the mindset going forward. <coughs> Nobody on this team or this program has said anything to the contrary that this group believes or is tight knit or you know is all in it together. But has, for better or worse, have you seen that grow even more through some of the adversity and and that you guys have had to go through in these first few weeks? Yes, um, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, I think you know when adversity hits, you know there's there's two directions you can you can go, you can kind of shy away from it or you can you know, just go straight at it and, and use it as a learning opportunity. And, you know, that's what we've done. Um, you know, like I said, it's not easy to shift your mindset when you, you work some, for something all off season and it's kind of taken off the table. Um, so, you know, just being able to shift that mindset and, uh, you know, use the, the adversity at hand uh, for an opportunity to, to get better, to get closer, which is, you know, exactly what we've done. Uh, yeah, I think the, the chemistry of this football team is, is um, you know, amazing and, and something that I love to be a part of every day. Um, and, and I've seen the joy and uh, the excitement, you know, even, even the past two weeks um, with just how we've prepared, how we've done everything. So, um, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, the, the adversity has, has shined us up, not grind us up. Seemed like towards the end of that Florida State game, uh, the the fresh legs of you and Phil started to wear that Florida State front down a little bit. Did you feel that way towards the end? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, I, I think towards the end of that game, you know, we had we had opportunities to put them away, um, no question. I think just having Phil and I and, and being able to uh, bounce off of one another, whether it's the two back set or um, you know whether it's getting a little bit of rest while the counterpart goes out there and does their work is, is, uh, is huge for us. And um, obviously wanted to put them away late in the game when we had the opportunities to, but, but we did it. So, um, you know, just continuing to, to look at how Phil and I can help this football team, help this offense in particular, and, uh, and just keep doing our thing. It seems like the last two weeks, you guys, you and Phil have been the team, been keyed by the defenses for what they want to do with Cade now emerging and showing improvement at the wide receivers making plays. Do you think it's going to 
open up things for you guys in the running game here going forward now that they've shown that back to back wins? Yeah, I, I think uh, I think it'll definitely play a factor. Um, you know, I think just with how this football team is, um, you know, with with Cade not having a ton of experience, just you know, starting in, in too many football games, it being his first year, uh, teams wanted to um, see that you know he could beat them through the air, and um, you know you saw that in the game plans, how they've been defending us, um, and and. You know, as Kate has proven that you know he's got the ability to throw the ball, and we've got the receivers, the, the guys that can go make the plays. Um, teams, you know, can't just guard us like we're one-dimensional. Um, so uh, I think it'll open up a ton of things for Phil and I. Um, you know, and if they got to choose one or the other, then then that puts us in a really good position. So just got to continue to flourish and, uh, and and do well. You know, in, in both parts, in the passing game and the running game, and. Uh, just make defenses choose, you know, choose, choose which one they want to try to stop. Well, Kate made a bunch of high-level plays in that game, the touchdown and the run, just a lot of stepping up in a collapsing pocket on the throw to Bo. Um, how have you seen the game start to really slow down for him, even from the start of the season to now? Yeah, you know, just as you mentioned, the, the big plays that, uh, that, that he's making, um, I think he's just learning from every opportunity. You know, every mistake that, that he's made, um, he's learned from it. And, um, you know, that's when the game truly slows down is, is uh, when you're able to, to, to view it as, you know, just going out there and, and um, it being just like the practice field. And, and that's kind of the shift that I've seen in, in Cade's mind, just his, uh, his ability to manage the game and, and the plays that he's making. I mean, some of the, the um, times where he had to, you know, tuck it and run on third down, kept his eyes up, hit Tyler Brown downfield a couple of times. I mean, those are you know plays that, that can win you a football game. Um, and, and he's he's starting to make them. He's starting to uh, kind of just blossom and, and just continuing to get better every week, which is uh, exactly what we thought would happen with Cade. But yeah, he's never turns down an opportunity to learn from a mistake. Um, you know, to even learn from a, a success or a, you know a good play. There's always things that he's tweaking uh, and, and always trying to get better, which is, is why he's going to be great for sure. You guys are, are fifth naturally nationally in first downs. I know the name of the game is points, but how much confidence does that give you that you know? Hey, we're doing the right things. Yeah, well, we're, we've got um, all time confidence, uh, you know, in this offense, and uh, you know, there's never a time where we've lacked belief in, in how we can move the ball. You know, if we just make the routine plays and, and you know, do everything that that we do out there on this practice field. Uh, you know, nobody has, has been able to stop us. So, um, you know, we, we've got so much confidence in this offense, what we can do, and, you know, just the, the confidence that we're going to continue to grow and, and get better. You know, we've gotten better every single week, and, uh, and you know, that's what you want to see out of, out of not only a team, but, you know, the offense in particular. Any questions for Will from Zoom? Hey, Will, this is uh, Cliff Kennedy with Clemson Sports Media. Um, Dabo speaks on um, best, is stain, best is the standard and quest for the best. What's that mean to you? Yeah, you know, I think that best in the standard applies to everything in your life. So, you know, for me, I have, I have my priorities. You know, God comes first, family second, um, and then academics, sports, and then my social life. So... Um, you know, not only being best or holding myself to that standard and, you know, the first three out of five categories, but doing it for every single one. Uh, you know, whether it's my relationship with God being my first priority or, you know, my fifth priority with some of the, you know, relationships that I have off the field and, um, you know, holding myself to that same standard for, for each one of those and, and uh, you know, given everything that I got in every aspect of my life, uh, you know, and that will allow me to reach my potential and, and do everything that I want to. Um, and then I think the second one that you mentioned was, was Quest for Best. Um, kind of goes along the same lines, but if you're always pushing to not be the best, but, but to be your best, um, you know, then in return you're going to get the results and the success that you want. So, um, you know, that does, doesn't only apply to the football field, it doesn't only apply to the classroom. It applies to, to every aspect in your life um, because you know the, the deficiencies or the places where you don't emphasize, those will get exposed sometime down the road. 
uh, you know, and that's that's a fact. So, um, yeah, just always trying to be your best in every aspect. You know, like I said, whether it's the first priority or the fifth priority, um, you, you got to do your best. Well, how much do you enjoy wearing the pink and representing breast cancer awareness? Yeah, it's something that I've loved to do really ever since I can remember playing football. You know, the Pop Warner days in, in October when uh, when they'd be handing out, you know, pink socks and, and wristbands. Um, and then just the message behind it too, you know, being able to uh, have a platform like we do and to, to share that um, and to impact as many people as we can. It's a great opportunity and, and one that I look forward to every year. Anyone else for Will? All right.